guys and welcome back to my channel happy new year can i still say happy new year like are people still saying happy new year well i'm gonna say anyway happy new year because this is like my first video of the year i am back into the swing of things and it feels really good to be back i really enjoyed filming this tutorial and some of you guys checked up on me that was really sweet that actually genuinely touched me so thank you to the people that you know messaged me to see if I was okay really do appreciate it and um yeah I changed up my hair I thought I'd you know switch it up I was getting a bit bored of weave and so I came up with this smoky simple easy look you guys know I'm all about easy makeup if you guys haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will speak to you in my next one to start off, I'm going to be priming my lids using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Then I'm going to go ahead and set that with my banana powder. In the crease area, I'm applying Real Gar from the Modern Renaissance Palette. And then just in there, I'm also going to be going in with Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. On my lid, I'm applying another eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. I believe it's called Emerald Forest and it's just basically a matte green. So I'm just applying that to my lid and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out again with some more Coco Bear. I am going to smoke it out a little bit using a dark brown and I'm going to go ahead and finish off the yards later. I'm colour correcting using my LA Girl Concealer in Pure Orange. as you guys can probably tell I use it in most of my videos I, I just love it I think it really does the job and it's cheap cheap and cheerful you can't go wrong so the reason why I'm color correcting is basically to cancel out all the darkness so when I do apply my foundation it's not going to be ashy and my skin tone is going to be nice and even next I'm going to use my um, Bobbi Brown stick foundation now this color is a bit light for me I'm going to see if I can work it all out hopefully i'll be able to do that the color that i'm using is in warm almond i think i need to go a shade up i think like this is exactly my skin tone and i like to kind of look darker not darker well yeah darker because it makes me look you know nice and tanned but i feel like this is exactly my skin color so it can kind of come off slightly ashy but i'm gonna really contour so hopefully that helps. So I'm just gonna apply it to around my face and kind of leave the center there. That's where I'm gonna be applying my highlight. I like this foundation, even though it's a stick foundation, it, the coverage isn't too heavy. So it's not 100% full coverage, but it gives just enough coverage. And it looks like skin. Like, can you see? I think it looks really nice. I like it anyway. The only thing is the color, but that's nothing to do with Bobby Brown, that's just me picking the wrong shade. And as usual, I'm going to be using the same concealers. Form concealer by LA Girl, and I'm going to mix it up with a bit of the Kevin Aquan. A lot of you guys asked me why I use two concealers, and you guys also asked me what brush I use. I use the Zoeva Face Shape brush in 110, and I really like this brush because it just fits perfectly underneath the eyes. So that's why I use it, like nine times out of 10 I'm using this brush for my concealer. And the reason why I use two concealers underneath my eyes is because the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer is super, super light. So I kind of feel like when I put this under, it kind of balances it all out. To contour, I'm gonna be using my Suede Mocha. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and apply my Kevin concealer to underneath my eyes, the center of my forehead and just underneath my contour. I 
I like to bring the concealer to the side of my nose. This just gives you more of a like pointy nose, like a weird defined pointy kind of nose. <laughs> My concealer routine is pretty much the same. To set it, I'm going to use my Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder, and I'm just gonna apply that to all the areas where I highlighted. Yeah. And I'm really gonna let that set into my skin. So one thing that's changed about my routine is that I bake for a lot longer. I just really like the finish that it gives. So I baked for about 10 minutes and now I'm just dusting away the excess powder using my black version to press powder in golden cashews. Add some warmth to my face and just to make it look a lot more brown and more yummy, I'm using the CoverGirl bronzer in Ebony Bronze. For blush, I'm using Taj Mahal by NARS mixed with a bit of Sweetest Cocoa by MAC. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Look at that. Look at that. To highlight, I'm using a new one. I can't actually remember the name, but it will be down below. To contour my nose, I'm just using a dark brown matte eyeshadow, and then I'm gonna move onto the eyes and finish those off. So I'm applying just a black liner to my lash line, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke it out. I didn't want too much definition on the eyes. Added my lashes off camera guess what lashes I use guys yeah you guessed it scarlet lashes by Huda Beauty and I'm just using my pressed powder to get rid of any harsh edges on the eye look for my lips I'm using my LA girl pencil in dark brown then I'm gonna go in with my NYX or NYX lip cream in London then on top of that I'm gonna go over it with honey love by Mac and then on top of that I'm gonna finish it off with the St. Germain lip gloss by MAC. <laughs> 